Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, I'm not reading the card at the moment, but I thought I'd have a chat about whether you want people to touch your cards or, or not. Okay, so when you go to a tarot reader, you probably notice everybody does it differently, don't they? You'll get some readers or shuffle the cards and then they spread them out and they'll tell you to pick a card or two or three or however many they want to read and then you've got to pull them out and some people will give you the cards and will say shuffle the cards and, and split them or some people will shuffle them and say cut the cards or there's all these different ways that uh, that readers use to uh, to get you to pick whatever card it is or um to do the reading for you okay now the reason I'm doing this is because when you read the cards, it could be yourself, it could be a person that you go to if you don't read them yourself, right? the cards are the reader's tools. Right? So if you think when you go to the doctor's surgery, you don't mess with the doctor's tools. If you go to a therapist, you don't mess with the, the oils they use or the couch or anything like that. When you go into the supermarket, you don't start messing with the till or, or the cupboard by the till. You know, you, you, if you go to a builder's yard, you don't start messing with the builder's tools, do you? So the cards are a person's or the reader's tools, right? So... I've noticed a few times in various fairs that I've been to, I've seen people, including tarot readers themselves, who will go up to another table, start chatting to another reader, and will say, oh, those are nice cards, and they will pick them up, and they'll start going through them. So what they've basically done is pick up a person's tools, and they've started to mess with that person's tools, right? Now, it's actually quite rude for somebody to do that. Well, I, I feel it is. Anyway, I feel that it's quite rude because you don't do it to other people. You don't start messing with somebody's tools, as I say. So why would you want somebody to do that to you? Or why would you do it to a tarot reader? And I've seen that a few times. Now... When I first started reading tarot, which was about 40 years ago, and um, I started with various decks, but I'm not really going to go into the decks and that. But what I used to do, I used to give the people the cards and I would say, can you shuffle them and can you split them? And I started reading these particular cards, which is... Um, Ellen Cannon reads, which is tarot. Okay, and that's that's the back of them. Got the pentagram on the back, so you you can see when they're reversed and when they're upright. Basically, that's that's reverse, reverse pentagram, reverse card. As you can see, and that one is upright, upright pentagram. But um, anyway, just to show you those. So people were handling my cards quite a lot. And I've also got um, friends who would come in and they would pick them up and they would start going through them. All oh, these are nice, but they wouldn't ask, can I have a look at your cards? They would just pick them up. Now, unfortunately, these cards are not as bad now, but at one stage I picked them up to do a reading and I couldn't actually use them because they'd picked up so much negativity off other people and the vibrations of people who I hadn't been reading for, who had just picked them up and started looking at them. And also, I think I picked up the energy from people where I was doing a reading as well and not handed them with the cards. So it got to the stage where I couldn't actually read from them. Now, the stuff I used to get from those cards was absolutely incredible. I could tell people the colour of their front door, the colour of their car. I could go into so much detail with these cards. It was, it was absolutely unbelievable. It used to shock me. Never mind the person I was reading for. It used to shock me. And I always said those cards read me 
not just me reading the cards they read me as well and um so i got to the stage where i couldn't i couldn't get anything from them and i had to put them up and i had to buy new cards now i have done a lot of cleansing on these because this was several years ago and i have done a lot of cleansing on them and i do still read them now but not as much as i used to i have to say i don't read them as much as i used to at all i don't get the amount of detail from them as what i used to get all right so this is something to um i'm just saying this basically to help you to decide whether you want people to touch your cards on or not and um i think it's something that a lot of tarot readers don't actually think about some do especially those who have had uh, problems with the cards like i've just mentioned and i have spoken to people who, who have said exactly the same as me that they've had problems from doing that in the past and then no they don't allow people to touch now, now when i'm doing a reading now for anyone i'll just shuffle the cards and i will just say cut at once and if they start handling the cards when i've, I've not given them permission to do so i will actually take the cards off them and i'll change the deck or or else i will sit there in front of them and i will start cleansing the cards deliberately so that they know that they shouldn't do it because at the end of the day it is rude right when you've got tools if somebody starts picking them up and starts messing with them when you've not given them permission that is dare not rude okay so just bear that in mind especially if you're new to tarot or if you're not sure whether you want people to touch your cards or not just um just have a think about what i'm saying there and um just see how how you go but obviously it's up to yourself it's um it's one of those things isn't it we all have to decide for ourselves and try different things out and see what works best for us okay so do that see what works best for you okay and that's just a, a little bit of um an anecdote of my reading in the past okay so i might do a few more of them i had a few funny things as well come up in the past so i have to have a think about that one okay but let me know what you think in the comments section below and don't forget to click like and subscribe and thanks for watching i'll catch you all next time take care bye bye